Understanding the phrase, Body of Christ, in English. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a phrase that's not only important in religious contexts but also interesting in its cultural and linguistic significance. We're talking about the phrase, Body of Christ. Let's dive into what this phrase means, its origins, and how it's used in different contexts. The phrase, body of Christ, can be understood in two main ways, literal and figurative. Literally, it refers to the physical body of Jesus Christ, as mentioned in Christian theology. Figuratively, it's used to describe the church or Christian believers as a collective unit. This dual meaning reflects the depth and complexity of the phrase. Understanding the historical and religious context of the phrase is crucial. It originates from Christian teachings, where it's believed that Jesus Christ offered his body for the salvation of humanity. In many Christian denominations, the phrase is used during the Eucharist or Holy Communion, symbolizing the bread as the body of Christ. The phrase, body of Christ, has had a significant cultural impact. It's used in literature, music, and art, often symbolizing unity, sacrifice, or spiritual nourishment. Its usage extends beyond religious texts, influencing various aspects of culture and language. In modern times, the phrase is often discussed in theological, philosophical, and even ethical contexts. It raises questions about the nature of community, the concept of sacrifice, and the interpretation of religious texts in contemporary society. I hope this video has given you a deeper understanding of the phrase, body of Christ, and its multifaceted meanings. Whether you're interested in language, religion, or culture, this phrase offers a rich topic for exploration and discussion. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to bringing you more insightful content in the future.